All right, today I am going to be making chili baked potatoes, and the first thing I need to do is make some chili. So I've got ground beef, diced tomatoes, tomato soup, tomato paste, kidney beans, chili powder, ground cumin, onion powder, ketchup, brown sugar, diced onions, and my secret ingredient here is a little bit of Skyline chili seasoning. All right, I've got my pot here heating up, preheating, get it nice and hot. I like my hamburger to have a nice golden brown on it. I think it tastes better that way. I've got ground sirloin here, it's 93.7, so I won't have any fat to drain afterwards. As soon as it hits that skillet, it, you can hear it hissing, tss, like that. Okay, um, I'm just gonna stir this ground beef around just to get it evenly coated and browned. Start steaming up real bad. I had to turn the fan on. Oh yeah, now I'm gonna add some diced onions. I'm making this pretty mild, not very spicy. Browning up these onions with this ground beef. Try to stir it one handed there. Smells really good. Okay, so I got the hamburger and the onions browned pretty well. I'm just gonna turn that heat down to about three or four. And now I'm just gonna add in some tomato paste. I'm just gonna stir it around, cook it a little bit, get rid of the raw paste. Okay, so I let that uh, tomato paste cook for a few seconds there and now I'm just adding some water just to release the bits from the bottom of the pan. I needed a little more, about two cans of water. And now I'm just going to use a whisk just to kind of get it all up off the pan and get it all stirred together. It smells really good. Okay, now it's time for the seasonings. I don't use a chili packet. Uh, there's That's just regular chili powder, not the spicy kind. I'd say I probably use two tablespoons worth. I don't use seasoning packets because I have a sensitive stomach, so I customize what I put in. I don't like a lot of cumin, but you have to have some or it won't taste like chili. If this is ground cumin, I probably added about a quarter teaspoon didn't seem like it was quite enough so I just added just a teeny little bit more and this is onion powder I'd say I probably used about a tablespoon of that always wipe my spoon in between and this is my secret ingredient here, my Skyline Chili Seasoning Packet. Um, I'm just stirring it up just in case things got settled on the bottom. I'm just stirring it up and I'm just gonna go ahead and put in a heaping tablespoon of that. And I think that's mostly paprika, but it has other seasonings in it too. And I'm gonna add some salt. That was probably about a half a teaspoon of salt. This is a can of diced fire roasted tomatoes. I went ahead and added the juice that they came into. And this is just a can of tomato soup. And I'm gonna go ahead and add about, I'd say a quarter cup of ketchup. I like the ketchup. It adds a little sweetness and the vinegar of the ketchup kind of gives the flavor a little depth. 
and now I'm going to add in probably about a heaping tablespoon, I'd say, of brown sugar and just a smidge more. Time to give it a good stir. It's really starting to smell good at this point. Starting to look like chili. Definitely smells like chili. All right, now I'm adding these light red kidney beans. Two cans that I rinsed, drained and rinsed. Just gonna stir those in. This ch chili is mild, there's no peppers, just a little onion. I'm just gonna put the lid on, and I think I'll probably let it simmer for about an hour. Whoop, look at that. That's after about an hour of simmering and it smells really good. Now comes the baked potato part. I just cooked these in the oven, wrapped them in foil. Cooked them at 350 for about 45 minutes with the speed bake setting. Just gonna cut a slice in it. It's hot, too hot to touch with my bare hands. I gotta use my dish towel. Open it up, fancy like they do at the restaurants. And I think all potatoes need to start off with a little bit of butter on the first layer. I've been stuck on these chili baked potatoes for a while. I really like them and I think I make them about once a week. Ben doesn't like potatoes, so he eats his chili in a bowl and then usually has a sandwich. All right, adding some chili. Oh yeah, that's really looking good now. So I think Really sour cream definitely goes with this. Just a few raw onions. And this shredded cheese looks real good. Not gonna skimp on that. I'm gonna put on some chives. And just a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of salt because that big potato wasn't really seasoned and there you have it that's what I'm talking about that looks really good 